Rafiki is the president of the Islamic Circle of North America, or ICNA, one of the oldest running grassroots level Muslim organizations with 40 chapters across the United States, and of course, Houston is one of the largest. Since 1968, ICNA has worked to build relationships between communities by devoting itself to education, outreach, social services, and relief efforts. Mr. Javed Siddiqui lives in Lexington, Kentucky, has a master's degree in electrical engineering, and in addition to being the president of ICNA, he is also the chief operating officer of a leading international humanitarian organization, Helping Hand for Relief and Development. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Javed Siddiqui. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafi al-mursaleen Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in What an absolutely beautiful crowd What an absolutely beautiful month and a day My dear brothers and sisters I begin by praising Allah, God the Almighty, the creator of the universe. And I begin by thanking you all for here, for being here tonight. My brothers and sisters, I was just talking to some of the guests here earlier, and I was informed that this is the 21st year that this event has been going on. I really want to sincerely congratulate the city of Houston and its officials for a job well done. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, the diversity and the inclusion that you have achieved in this city is marvelous. The principles that the Prophet of Islam Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace and blessings be upon him, taught humanity and Muslims back 1500 years ago. We are proud to see these principles being applied in this, in this country of Houston, in this city of Houston. It's really heartwarming to see people coming together for events that really bring them closer to each other. And I really want to commend and thank the Honorable Mayor of the City, Mr. Turner, for taking this initiative, continuing his legacy. My brothers and sisters, in this time of divisiveness, of polarization, we are really fortunate to have leaders like our Congressman Albi and Congressman Sheila Jackson and our Mayor Turner here for really taking this initiative because it takes leadership. My brothers and sisters, ICNA has been the fabric of this country for the past 50 years. As a matter of fact, this year, 2018, is our 50th year. And we are thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing us to serve this community. I was very honored to be part of the team of ICNA Relief, which helped the residents of this city. We went door to door to support those victims of people who suffered in Harvey. And I realized that that suffering is going on. And I think, uh, as a matter of fact, ICNA Relief, which is the domestic relief arm of ICNA, Islamic Circle of North America, had just been received, what well, it was given a, a big grant of $12 million to, from FEMA to continue those efforts. So we are very proud to be part of this city and the residents of this city because we really believe that when we reach out to people and we are able to show the true color of Islam and what Muslims mean, how we want to be part of the society, how Muslims are being contributors 
and really part of continuing the legacy of Islam. My brothers and sisters, ICNA recently held one of the largest conventions in the city of Baltimore back in the Easter long weekend. Over 22,000 people from all over the country and many parts of the world attended that. And we are very honored to be the host of tonight's program. So thank you very much for this invitation. I come from Kentucky and I was talking to our mayor here a few minutes ago. I said I invite you to Kentucky and really come and join us there. So thank you, Houston, for this hospitality. Thank you for your leadership and vision. Thank you for the work that you're doing to bring people together. And thank you for celebrating this wonderful day and this iftar and sharing this time with us. Muslims, Jazakallah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.